Hey guys, Kings on the Fanboy here. I just want to say before this video starts that I got myself a new microphone. So I hope it sounds, I sound a lot better than I do in one of my other videos. Currently I'm recording one of the more echoer rooms in my house. So I might switch the area where I record up a bit. But I, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, Kings on the Fanboy here. Welcome back to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about when Kings Island could open based on how other parks have already opened or how some other parks have announced how they might do things. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to be starting off with Shanghai Disneyland. It has already reopened. Kind of crazy how Shanghai Disneyland is the first park to open considering how it's in China where the virus originated from. So um, let's go over what their, their precautions. So they are doing no shows, no parades, no character meet and greets. Um, every visitor and employee must wear a mask. And things, are, things are frequently wiped down. And guests must stay six feet apart in lines. So they have them spaced out. I don't know, I probably will put a picture up here if I can find one. But um, guests must be six feet apart in lines. And they have little taped off sections where guests stay in the lines. So next we're looking at Canada's Wonderland. Um, the city that Canada's Wonderland is in has started lifting about some of the restrictions. But as we know Canada's Wonderland, Cedar Fair likes to test things out at that park before putting them in their big parks. So they're probably going to test out opening Canada's Wonderland and see how it goes. Um, they're just going to see how it goes before opening some other uh, other parts like Kings Island, Cedar Point, Kings Dominion, Carowinds, and they're going to see how this goes. So Canada's Wonderland has a voting system with what they um, want the most, uh, what what visitors would like to do the most. So one of their options is splitting the park in half, so only half the park will be open, not all the park. Um, another one is coming in first, serve, first come first serve basis, so um, buy a ticket. First, pers first people to buy a ticket will get in the park. If you're not one of the first people, you don't get to go. Another option is only being open from 8 p.m. to midnight. Uh, this is kind of a weird option. I didn't really see this one happening, but um, yeah, I, it kind of makes sense. Kind of doesn't make sense. It's one of the more unique options I've seen for parks. And what they're gonna do. Is they're gonna obviously be employees must be wearing masks, they're gonna take extra sanitary measures, wiping things down, hand sanitizing stations, etc., stuff like that. Um, now let's go over what Six Flags and I'll still be doing. Six Flags and I'll still be doing a um, park reservation thing. So you have to place, if you wanna go to a park, you have to place the reservation beforehand and show up, and that's how you'll be able to get in. Only a certain amount of reservations will be able to made. Be made um, for a park, or like only a certain amount of reservations will be made a day. And if you don't get the reservations, then you won't be able to go that day. So let's go over uh, all of these and see how I feel. Shanghai Disneyland. Um, not really much to say here. I feel like that's what kind of all the parks would be doing uh, when they do reopen. So not really much to say there. Canada's Wonderland splitting the park in half. I don't really feel like that's a fair thing to do. I mean, what if you want to go ride Leviathan or Yukon Striker and you can't go ride it because that part of the park's not open? So I don't feel like that's a very fair, um, very fair thing to do. I don't like that one a uh, lot. Um, first come, first come, first serve. I do feel like I could see that happening. Uh, I feel I could see a lot of parks actually doing that and only being open till eight to midnight. Hmm. I feel like that's kind of weird. Not not gonna really get a lot of kids coming. Uh, a lot more teenagers and adults. So not a lot of the kids will be coming to the parks because it's kids should probably not be up at those times. And let's talk about the Six Flags thing they're doing. Um, park reservations. I don't I don't like it at all. I mean, 
it's going to make going to the parks harder. Um, it's also going to make, it's just going to make things harder. Because if you want to just, hey, want to go to Six Flags Over Texas today? Yeah, sure, man. Let's go. Well, you can't because you got to plan multiple days ahead. It's kind of like going to another park from another state, like going to Kentucky Kingdom. Because uh, my home's park park is Kings Island, so I live close to Kings Island. So, like, yeah, I plan to go to the park, even though you only live a few miles away from it. So I don't really feel like the Six Flags reservation thing is that good of an idea. And I don't really think that a lot of parks should be doing it. So I don't really like that one. So let's get to my um, prediction of when Kings Island could open, what they could be doing. Um, obviously, they will have employees be wearing masks, frequently wiping things down, hand sanitizing stations, stuff like that. Um, I Obviously, a lot of parks can be doing that. Um, when do I think it's going to open? I'm, I'm hoping beginning of June, but if my, that's what I'm hoping, I know it probably will open mid-June or end of June. That's what I'm kind of hoping on. I'm hoping on beginning of June, but as that, as we're only like 15 days away from that, it's not, I don't think they're going to open then. Because it takes... As Canada's Wonderland said, it takes three weeks to hire everyone and get everything ready to go for the opening season. So, I'm, I'm hoping beginning of June, but I doubt that. And I'm, it'll probably be more mid-June or end of June. Um, yeah. Well, that's all for this video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.